say hello to my little friend. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How's it going? So super excited. Got me a new toy to play with. Uh, so this is my first 12 gauge. Look at this thing. Just sick. So, a little bit about this gun. This is a 1972 Ithaca uh, Feather Light. Um, very, very dependable gun. Loads up from the bottom, ejects from the bottom. So the cool thing about this, it's an actual ambidextrous shooter. You don't have shells to hit you in the face if you're a left-handed shooter. Um, Ithaca's been making shotguns for, I think, roughly 80 or 90 years. And uh, a lot of the police departments in the United States actually use not this exact model, uh, but Ithaca is the model that they go after. Very reliable gun, very simple gun. Uh, I got it for a wicked deal. So this is gonna allow me to finally go after some goose, some geese, and some ducks, and also maybe get some uh, grouse on the wing. Unfortunately, next, next year, my, uh, my uncle will be taking the 22. So I had to find a replacement for, for that for grouse hunting. So it is a wood stock. So I am probably going to get a, a nice rubber pad for this. Because those days where you're shooting a lot of birds, you're going to start feeling this. Uh, otherwise, very fun gun to shoot. Uh, my first 12 gauge. So they do have a nice little kick. Um, I put about uh, five or six rounds through it. And pretty excited, not going to lie. So today we're just at the range. I'm uh, we're gonna set up a couple little targets. We're also gonna throw some bottles up in the air. Gonna do some speed loading. We're just gonna have a little bit of fun getting yourself used to this gun. Um, so yeah. So if any of you guys have one of these old Ithacas or even the newer Ithacas, put it down in the comments. I'm curious to see how many of you guys are rocking these guns because um, there's about 88 million of these built up to this date. So. There's a lot out there. Anyways, let's get, let's put, put some shells down range. Woo! All right, guys, so we're gonna do a speed, a speed load of five shots. There's no accuracy on this one. I'm just, I got three in here now, and then I'm gonna put two in quickly. I realized pulling it off the belt's a little tricky, so I got the other two shells in my pocket. All right, let's see how fast I can do this. That's fun guys, that's fun. Not gonna lie. All right, so it's uh, Juanito's turn to do the five, five quick loads. All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Put the two in, let's go. The birds are flying away. <laughs> I think it's because you cock, cock it back. Slide it back forward. There you go. Now put it in. So you put the one here first? No, just slide, you slide them in, then you just... <laughs> well, that took you about a minute, so I think those last two geese flew away from you. <laughs> How'd you like that? That's good. Fun, eh? Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go for a little bit of accuracy. Let me throw a couple water bottles up in the air and see if I can snipe them out of the air. See how she goes. Okay. Pop. Well, got one out of two, so I definitely got to work on that a little bit. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you're ready. Hold. Hold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we both got some work to do here. <laughs> yeah. 
So we're gonna try a theory out. We need to throw things so the bottles are maybe too heavy and they're dropping too fast. I feel like that's just an excuse, but we'll, we'll give her a try. <laughs> maybe try to like throw it up, but like a little bit farther out. Yeah, okay, pull! One out of two again, so I'm shooting about 50%. So definitely you got some room for improvement. Okay, go. Pull. Got that one. Well, that's a dead bird. <laughs> hey. oh. ah. Ah. Nice day, <laughs> it's getting better. Well, guys, that was a lot of fun. And uh, so we're going to head out. To a couple of the bush roads out here we're going to try to find this some tasty little birds while we're out here such a beautiful day we got to take advantage of this plus it's rained a lot in the last couple days so there's a lot of mud everywhere so i'm hoping a lot of the guys are staying away from the areas we're going to go um but yeah like i said i'm i'm so happy with that gun um the gentleman that i got it off of was a longtime customer at my shop and he said go give her a try before uh before you purchase it I think I'll be giving some money this week. So, anyways, let's head to the bush and hopefully we get a couple of birds. Well, looks like uh, the old man got himself a bird. Oh, that's a nice size. Can I go get that one? There's another one? Yeah. What? Well, I got a tree to pull. Where's in the tree? Down there and one over there. there okay, there. here, I'll film you. I'll film you. I don't I saw some here. Make them here and go down the way. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, I just heard him go. <laughs> well, there you go. Just got my first uh, shotgun kill. Woo! Well, guys, got my first shotgun kill. Boop, boop, boop. The other cut's doing its job. <laughs> We're actually at three birds already. Uh, my stepdad got two, and I got this one within like five minutes of parking the truck. So, pretty sweet. Well, I think the head's gone. Well, that was pretty cool. I just came up on a doe bedding. She's probably, I want to see 30 yards away from me. Even if I had my bow, I couldn't have got a shot off on her. But, uh, you know what? 
I've never really, I haven't explored this deep into this area before, and there is some serious potential here for deer hunting. We're up to four birds already, so, I mean, that's pretty freaking awesome. Well, there you go, guys. We're having a little roadside grouse. Uh, I, I had a, I also brought a couple sausages just to add a little, uh, little grease to the pan. But, uh... Yeah, we got four birds so far, which is pretty awesome. I honestly didn't even really expect us to see too many out in this area. But uh, I guess there's more birds around here than I thought. I think this year, I think this year's really a good, been a good year for birds, actually. I know they, uh, I know they definitely come on a cycle. Um, and I think somebody had said it's every seven years or something like that. So this year seems to be a pretty good year for them. Yeah, the wind the wind's definitely not helping out our situation at all. But uh... Alright, time to eat them. Eat some some of the spoils of war. So Fresh grouse, right on. Little sausage. Tasty little heart. Mm. Mm. And we got the old gizzards. Oh yeah. So, like I said, super, uh, super happy with the results of this. Uh, a couple things I need to learn is uh, <laughs> what kind of shells are good for grouse because I think I have duck or goose shells, and they seem to be doing quite a lot of damage, even the one I headshotted. So a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely used to trying to get a headshot with a 22. So if any of you guys know a little bit more about shotgun shells and what's good, put it down in the comments. Right now, these are some number threes and some number fours. I mean, I'll do my own research as well, but... Uh, I definitely like to ask all my my loyal viewers and subscribers um, what they use for grouse. Uh, they're two two and three quarter shells, and uh, yeah, so I'm really really happy to have to have add, added this to my arsenal. I think though for grouse hunting, I probably will, will grouse hunt with the 22 for as long as I can, and then once uh, once it's gone out of my life, then this uh, this will be my grouse gun. But uh, thanks for joining joining us on that little adventure, guys. That was uh, pretty fun. And that's a little bit of a different kind of gun review. <laughs> but uh, if you like that content, don't forget to hit that like at the bottom. And if you guys are new to my channel, check out the rest of my content and see if you like it. And if you do, feel free to subscribe. Other than that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.